Very often it's difficult to accept ourselves the way we are. And this is very prevalent, I think, in our highly competitive Western culture. Because most people carry a lot of striving, a lot of expectation, and a lot of ideas about who and how and what they should be. And even right now, you might be able to check yourself. Do you have an idea of what sort of person you should be? Now, I can tell you, this idea lurks just behind your head. It's always there. And every time you fall short of it, there's a sense of failure or self-recrimination or self-judgment or something like that. Do you ever get any of those? Mm -hmm. The only reason you get that is because somewhere there's this idea that you should be something different. You should be something better. So, a lot of us carry this constant <coughs> process of censorship in our minds. It's almost like the big finger always pointing. You didn't do that quite as well as you should. You got that one wrong. There you failed. Now you've done it again. You see, you're no good. I told you so. And so it goes on. So, this is why we bring in compassion training. Because somehow we need to free the mind from the effect of that activity. If we don't, our mindfulness sessions end up becoming beating up sessions. We just beat ourselves up. So, through our compassion training, we accept. Whatever the mind does, it's okay. There's nothing wrong. And you can repeat this to yourselves, as I'm sure a lot of you have already done. Nothing <coughs> wrong. There's nothing right, nothing wrong. It's just the way it is. Now, it could take you a lifetime to learn this simple one. But there is nothing wrong with you. How many of you feel there's something wrong with you? Yeah? Probably most of you, actually. Not at this moment, but there will have been times when you feel it. There's something wrong with me. And you kind of look around and think, they've got it, they've got it together. I wonder how they did it. And I'm the one who didn't get it together. Somehow I missed out. <clears throat> so, this is why it's so valuable to come to one of my lectures where I insult you. <laughs> you're neurotic. You're a failure. And you're a mess. And a few other things I'm going to think of before the weekend is out. But that's a good starting point. Yes. A neurotic mess of failure. And it's amazingly refreshing once you relax into the truth of the situation. Because despite all that, you are actually very lovable. Now, not many of you love yourselves, but somebody always loves you. You know, I had a friend who was quite critical, but when she was criticizing people, she used to say, well, I suppose his mother loves him. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody loves you, even if it's only the neighbor's cat. <laughs> so somewhere you are lovable, which makes you okay. So it's okay to be a neurotic mess who has failed. That's the way life is. Once you come to terms with that, it is quite amazing how life changes. And I'm sure a lot of you already discovered this.